it's Victoria here from Bella Crafts and today I'm here to make with you Zara the Zebra. So you guys need to make sure that you get your painted t-shirts or aprons on, mummies and daddies make yourself a nice hot cup of tea and let's get started. Okay so we've got everything we need here to make Zara the Zebra. So we're not going to need any paint for this one, we're just going to need our glue and then we've got all of our wool here to make our stripes on Zara. So we're just going to take our glue and our paintbrush and we're going to glue on Zara some stripes. So I'm going to start up here just round the neck. Now you don't need to be too neat with the glue, you could just glue it all over if you want to if it's easier. But I'm just going to put my glue on some like little stripes round here. I'm going to do a piece down there. And then once I've done a few, so you can see I've just started gluing just up here. I'm just going to take my woolly pieces and I'm just going to stick those on top. So stick, squeeze. And don't worry if they're too long because in a minute what we can do is go round and we can ask mummies and daddies to neaten it up just with some scissors. So we're just going to try and stick on all of our stripes, like so. Until we've made our horse shape into a nice stripey zebra. So we'll just keep on sticking on. Gonna do one just running down this way as well that goes between all of them. Okay, so we've finished gluing our little pieces on. So we're just going to finish off doing the top bit up here just, just to finish off her little mane. So we're just going to put some glue up in this little corner over here. And then I'm going to take another little piece of wool and I'm just going to stick it so it just carries on our little mane to the top of her head. And then I'm going to take another little piece and I'm just going to fold it in half like this. And then I'm going to stick this piece on just up here and then to finish off Zara's little earpiece we've got this little pink bit here which we're just going to stick on just next to that piece we've folded in half so that bit's just going to go there and that is going to make our little ear up there okay now to finish off down this end as well we're just going to add a little tail to Zara so we're just going to pop a little bit of glue on the end here so we just want a little lump of glue there and then I'm just going to take four or five pieces of my wool and I'm just going to make sure that they all line up at the top and then we're going to stick this on like a little tail for her. There we go. So there's all my little tail pieces and I'm just going to stick that on my lump of glue there. There we go. So that's all stuck on. Now we need to give Zara some legs, so for her legs we've got these little pegs here, so we're just going to peg these, so we've just opened the peg up and I'm just going to peg it on to her leg like so, and I'm going to do the same with the other side, there we go, and then we need to add a little eye onto Zara, so I'm going to give her I think a nice pretty eyelash eye here. So I'm just going to stick that one on up there. And then you might need mummies or daddies to help you with this bit, but if you've got any bits that look really long still, we can just trim these pieces off with your scissors. There we go. Give her a little haircut. And then that is Zara pretty much finished. 
but if you want to you can add some of your sparkles to her as well so you don't have to do this but it's just something if you want to add a little bit of extra fun to Zara so we might just do some glue just at the top here and we could give her some sparkles just along the top of my of her back so I'm just going to have a little look in my little sequin pot. So with your little pack of sequins that you had in your first envelope, we can choose to use some of these sparkles here. And I'm just going to sprinkle them along the top of her back. Just because everything's better with a bit of sparkle. Even a zebra. <laughs> I'm going to do a few more just up over here. There we go. You can just carry them right the way up to her ear. So she's got sparkles all the way down her back. Okay. There we go. There is our very sparkly zebra called Zara. And she should, so once you let her dry, when all her glue's dry, she should also stand up. She can stand her up with your other on safari friends. So thank you so much for joining us today for this video, guys. We shall see you at the next one where we'll be making Hilda the hippo. Bye!